At least 34 people died in Benin near Nigeria's border on Saturday when a contraband fuel depot um, exploded into flames, sending up a black cloud of smoke into the sky and leaving dozens of um, charred bodies in the site. More than a dozen others were seriously injured and are being treated in hospital. According to local residents, the blaze erupted at a warehouse for smuggled fuel in the southern Benin town of Semepoji, where cars, motorbikes and tricycle taxis came to stock up on fuel. Benin's interior minister, Alison Sidu, told reporters a serious fire had occurred in the town, but did not give details about exactly how it had happened. As I speak, we have recorded 34 deaths, including two babies. The cause of the fire was fuel, particularly contraband fuel. We have also recorded 20 injuries. The minister said another 20 people were being treated in the hospital, including some in serious condition. We have been able to stabilize all the victims, 12 of whom are in critical condition and in intensive care. With the intensity of the fire, the burns can sometimes reach up to 100% of the affected body surface. That's how serious these cases are. When he came into office in May, Nigeria's president, Bola Hamed Tinubu, abandoned the long-standing subsidy meant to keep petrol prices artificially low for Nigerians. That decision caused a tripling in fuel prices in Nigeria, but also impacted the price of black market fuel smuggled over the border into Benin and other countries. A very tragic story right